Hey, hey, folks. It's been a, well, crazy week. Anyway, uh, I'm filming this on Thursday because, um, move the light a little bit. Um, Saturday I got a trip, um, out of town. I gotta drive my mother to, uh, the uh, airport. So uh, I'm not gonna have any whole lot of time. So I figured I'd do this now because everything I'm expecting to come in has come in. And next week should be pretty light because that's the week before my birthday. Usually don't get anything a week before my birthday. Unless some surprise uh, pre-orders come in. Like this one. My... Oops, sorry. My Moff X uh, Crusader, not Crusader, Batman. Been waiting on this uh, for a while. I got the Hush one, now I got this one. Basically the two Batman I would really, really want to have. Um, so, uh, from Hello Dope Toys, finally, Ahsoka came in. I did that to help Hello Dope out. They, um, they had a bunch of stuff on clearance and I thought, well, let me help them get rid of some stuff. And so in that line, I started filming already on this, but uh, <laughs> there is Ricondo, regular, um, also Retro Carter Beachhead, I've filmed on that. Um, and, and yes, I gave him some decent weapons. <laughs> so been doing a lot of filming, so there might be some like poor Hordak is wore out <laughs> and drunk as can be. Um, had an interesting one this week. Uh, last week actually. Somebody contacted me and said, "Hey, you're gonna do some figures," and I'm like, "Okay, some of those I'll do." But then you know he named off two, and I said, nah, "I have no plans on buying those." And they said, well, "What if I donated them to you?" Well, I said, "What do you mean?" He said, "Let me give you the PayPal money, and I'll uh, donate them to you." And so. I'm like, okay, um, hard for it for me to look a gift horse in the mouth, but uh, he PayPal'd me the money. Um, I bought him immediately, and from Hello Dope, Mad Marauders um, Barbecue, and I uh, can't believe this one's in my collection, Big Boa. Uh, they want me to do Hordak and AJ with those. I said, give me a couple of weeks, because... You know, things are hectic <laughs> around here, but yeah, I'll, I mean, you requested it, I'll do it. I mean, <laughs> um, I was a little taken back by that. Um, I noticed Hordak and AJ are getting some attention lately, so, you know, uh, people are making more comments and talking about them and stuff like that, so I, I guess... I, I admit I resisted leaning into them so hard, but I guess maybe I shouldn't have. <laughs> that's what all I can say uh, yeah so another thing came in um, this took forever I ordered it from a third party on Amazon and I think it took forever but it was almost the Ollie price my yeah, can I get it in the light here my displacer beast and you know I'm a old-school D&D guy and yeah, I wanted it. I mean, it's that simple. I just wanted the figure. Um, it, you know, it's hard to quantify that. Um, now, um, I did get an early birthday present from someone who asked me if I had, they knew I liked the thing, and they asked me if I had this version, and I did not. And this, it's kind of funny because this is one I had a long time ago and you know when I had to sell I sold it and I kind of regretted it I was thinking about getting it back but there is the thing um, the legendary writers version which is this guy cycle -y thing <laughs> I never did understand that but I accepted it and moved on um, so there's that and Gotta check and make sure. I think that's it, except for one thing that I wanted to save to last. I'm just checking around me here. Yeah, okay, okay. Uh, I have to very much thank Mython the Python uh, for this. Um, 
I told him a little story and he, he, he just like, I got you fam. Owlbear. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> now the, the story, I'm just going to tell it to you. My, I'm one of those kids during the satanic panic that, um, you know, was playing D&D. And uh, one night we're playing and in the game, an owl bear came on our camp, <laughs> came to our camp. Uh, I almost said came on our camp, but you know what I meant. Um, he uh, attacked. Um, I had my first character, Paladin, and two of our party got killed. And I was down to one hit point, and I, then I scored the killing blow. Uh, one of the best D&D nights of my life. Uh, that character went on to become quite legendary in later D&D campaigns. And, um, yeah, it was fun. And this is how I pictured the owlbear. So I, I was really, really wanting this badly. Um, and I can't thank my thought enough for this because he was just like, yeah, man, this is meaningful to you here. And I'm like, dude, um, I'm so floored. And, um, you know, he said, just pay it forward. And I said, not only will I pay it forward, if you're ever looking for anything, I will pay it back to. Um, and I will, I'll do both. But, um, yeah, I was just really, really taken back by that. Um, all I need's the beholder. I'm not going to pay non Ollie price for it. That's, and then I'll have all the monsters I need from D and D. So that's pretty freaking good. Uh, Let's see. Yeah, he can stay there. Okay. Uh, what's going on with the Chanel? Um, I'm doing a little filming. I've got a couple of over here. I already talked about um, Kondo. I got Aloy. Uh, I've been filming that. And I've been filming a few more uh, here and there. <laughs> you know. Uh, beach had already talked about um, I had a couple more head on tap for... Oh commander Rogers. He's indisposed and Finally getting around to this bad boy, too. I mean, it's been a while uh, so um, That one uh, basically suffered from loss of uh, Loss of uh, Footage. Yeah, I was gonna get to that eventually, but anyway, and oh, filmed a little bit on Dengar and filmed a tiny, tiny bit on this. So, yeah, things are moving along nicely. Um, it's Thursday. I dropped another AJ and Hordak video. Um, seems to be doing all right. I, I, you know, I, the funny thing is, it takes those a little bit of traction to get a little. Takes those a little bit to get a, some traction, but um, yeah, when it's just them um, and the other people who inhabit this space, um, it, it does take a little bit for those to get traction. But then they start getting traction. So. Hopefully this one does. I only had one that didn't. It was uh, the Hasbro layoffs. I never did understand what happened with that. Uh, <laughs> never really took off like the others did. I did, and that was very discouraging. That's why I quit doing them for a while. It's just like you just got. To, why should I do this? Well, okay. And you know, it's been a. Real, I, I want to do a video on everything going on with Disney and I'm talking about the Star Wars stuff I'm talking about the X-Men stuff it's insane to me what's happening and I have a theory on something that is something different than everybody else is saying so um you know I'll, I'll save it for the video um it's kind of a joke theory but you know anyway um I'll say it that way and um but, you know, I, I mean, I'm talking about, you know, the Bo DeMeo situation, the um, the crazy Star Wars theory, Star Wars Explained War, all of it. I mean, it's just, it's all insane. It's just crazy. And at the same time, it's fascinating because people are acting like 
just strange, just weird, just odd, and in some ways it's fun, in some ways it's disturbing. So I'll put it that way. Uh, <laughs> uh, beyond that this week, um, Chad had that great video about the hiss. Uh, God, that's one of the best videos I've seen in a long time. I mean a long, long time. Pardon me just a moment, my wife is yet, uh, I disturbed my wife in the background. Uh, just uh, bear with me. All right, terribly sorry about that. I just had a question, uh, nothing uh, major, just about uh, a few things for what's going on next week. Uh, but where was I? Okay, uh, Chad, I talked about Chad's great, it's not a, this is not a tank video. Phenomenal, it's one of the best damn videos I've seen in a long time. And even with all the, you know, this is what I always say is like, if you lay out facts the way he did, and then you're still arguing about it, you're stupid. Unless you bring, <laughs> unless you have some other facts to bring. And I know this one guy on his, his channel was like, well, it's just up to people's interpretations. And I'm looking at him like, where are your facts? What facts do you have? And it was nothing. It was kind of a funny exchange. Uh, Chad got a ch chuckle out of it. Um, let me see. Oh, Star Wars Comics got hacked during the debate, and they actually broadcast the debate on his channel. Um, on a live stream, it got taken down, of course, because of copyright, uh, which it was I thought was weird news event copyright. I didn't think that was the thing, but maybe. Okay, and um, he got his channel back, though. That was really freaking weird really weird I, I'm not sure what to think about that uh, and I don't know if it relates to this Star Wars drama I don't think it does it doesn't sound like it but you never know you might find out it is and then it's like oh shit you know I mean why <laughs> and uh, a little bit of news uh, Super 7 is doing well their ultimates but they have less accessories and a lower price point. They pretty much took away almost all the accessories and dropped the price 20 bucks. They should have dropped it 30 bucks. 40. Uh, it looks like a $20 figure. Uh, honestly. Um, I saw lion -O and I think that was the only one. I was watching 3 PO and I know Lyo Convoy is going to hate me for that. Not remembering who the other one is. Uh, but, you know, I was looking at them going, yeah, these are $20 figures. Uh, you know, and let's face it, the plastic on uh, Super 7 is not good. I've never liked their plastic, and I've never liked their toys. I have one bat that I use occasionally, but um, he doesn't get very much use. So, I am going to give their O-ring figures a try, but I don't have a lot of faith on those either. So, we'll see what happens. And... Let me see. Um, there's been several more uh, reviews of the Vanguard. Um, that cheap plastic thing has been an issue <laughs> in that it ain't cheap plastic. But a few people don't want to admit that and don't want to admit they were wrong, but you yeah, know. Nah. Um, man. Was it Junkyard Craft and Build that said this? I, I want to say it was. It might have been 209 Ed. I think it was Junkyard. Uh, basically said that the problem is we're so used to, people are so used to the soft rubber of G.I. Joe, when they get a hold of hard, pl hard plastic, they think it feels cheap because it's hard. Well, that's what she said. And I, I, I actually agree with that. And I think that's kind of on point. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's a, that might be the real issue of what's going on. Um, especially if you deal a lot with resins too. But, yeah. You know. And, um, oh, Mython's charity ended this week. And um, he has a report on his Instagram about the numbers. I, um, I'm not in my Instagram right now, so um, I can't give it to you. But it was a... Uh, I want to say it was fifteen hundred or seventeen hundred dollars raised um, for for a pediatric cancer. So really great, awesome thing. Um, I can't say enough. It's really awesome. 
<laughs> Sorry, I just heard my little girl in the living room. Um, I don't know what she's doing, but she's laughing about it. It's always awesome. And I cannot think of anything else this week that happened. Um, of course, my little girl has me distracted. Yep, I, I, that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much it. So, I'm going to leave it there. This is my hauls. Next week, um, I will do a video, but it probably won't um, have too much in it. Um, I will be going by a Target, so maybe I can finally get a hold of uh, uh, War, War Pat, Warbird uh, Miss Marvel. That would be awesome, um, hopefully. But anyway... I'm sure some shit's going to come out at PulseCon tomorrow, and I'm going to have to do a whole nother video for that, probably, because I won't have time. And, yeah, that's about all I got. Um, anyway, I'll wrap it up here. You guys take care. Uh, take care of yourselves, and take care of each other. Because we're all, the, we all, in the end of the day, we're all that we got. Each other and ourselves so extend to you and yours hopefully you have a good uh good weekend and a good week and uh keep in mind my birthday's almost here um <laughs> we, uh is a week from monday oh my god it might be uh <laughs> that's cool all right thank you for watching don't forget to do all that youtube stuff of liking subscribing sharing all that junk. And um, you guys take care and I'll uh, talk to you later.